There's big changes going on over at Royal Caribbean today, as the brand announced updates to not only their crown and anchor loyalty program, but also a pause for visits to the troubled country of Haiti. Plus, if it's your lifelong dream to cruise on board the Titanic, well, I may have good news for you. And for cruisers sailing out of Port Canaveral, you may soon be getting a very handy new way to get to the cruise port. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships channel. It's your Captain Corey. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And I hope, I hope you are having as beautiful of a day as it is down here in Central Florida today. Wow, it is gorgeous outside. Now we've got so much cruise news to get into that I'm just going to skip the question of the day. I got one. It'll make sense in a minute. Let's get right into it. Royal Caribbean cruisers. It's a big episode for you. Amidst the rising tensions in the failing country of Haiti, Royal Caribbean had previously decided that they were going to continue allowing calls into the port of Labadee, Haiti, their private island resort area, which is it's about a six hour drive away from the capital of Port-au-Prince, which is where most of the violence is happening. Royal Caribbean made this decision like a day ago, citing that they would remain vigilant, but for the time being, they felt it was safe to continue calls to this much loved destination. But unfortunately, just about a day later, it seems like that plan was very short-lived, as today, Royal Caribbean began notifying their guests on current and upcoming sailings that include stops in Labadee, that Royal has chosen to suspend all visits to the port effective immediately, saying that due to the evolving situation in Haiti and, of course, in an abundance of caution, we're temporarily suspending visits to Labadee for the entire fleet. Now, to me, this sounds like a wise decision as security concerns have been on the rise amongst Royal Caribbean's guests, particularly around cruises that call at Labadee. But of course, we also have been seeing a stark rise in crime in other places that cruises visit. The Bahamas springs to mind immediately as earlier this year, I was reporting on a sharp rise in killings in the small island nation. All I'm going to say is it's an important time to remain vigilant as a cruiser. And I guess if you'd like me to put out a staying safe while traveling type of video that gives some really cool tips, some really cool points that I picked up along my travels, please let me know in the comments down below. If 100 of you make the comment, staying safe, I will produce the video. There you go. There's your question of the day. And if safety is a concern for you, you may want to spend a few minutes looking through my Amazon Cruise Essentials list. It's everything that I recommend you have with you every time you cruise. That includes things that will help you sort of fly under the radar, stay a little bit safer. If you'd like to check it out, there's a link in the description down below. Remember, just clicking on the link does force Jeff Bezos to send me a check at the end of the month. And I'd really appreciate that because I just got the bill for my new roof. And there are a lot of zeros. Link below. Now, Royal Caribbean has also announced to some of their most loyal members a few enhancements to their Crown and Anchor Society program. That, of course, is Royal's Loyalty Club. And for once, we see a cruise line actually giving something without taking something else away that makes everything worse or kind of just muddies the water. Royal is releasing new benefits that will now allow their Pinnacle Club members to enjoy more time on their vacations with their close friends, family, and loved ones. And that is because this new benefit, which begins for all cruises starting on Friday the 15th. If you're a Pinnacle Club cruiser with 700 plus cruise points, well, now you will be able to bring one additional guest that has to stay in your cabin. That person will now be able to accompany you to join you into the suite or the concierge lounge. They'll also be able to join you on the suite sun deck areas and even in the coastal kitchen. So gone are the days of you traveling with someone else who doesn't cruise as much as you and having yourself suddenly foregoing the benefits that you typically would have, well, the benefits you earned by cruising so often. You had to step back if you wanted to hang out with the other people staying with you on your cruise. Well, guess what? It's a good thing. I'm glad to see Royal Caribbean is essentially giving a little freebie here. It's going to help enhance the cruises of their Pinnacle Club members because now they get to spend and enjoy their perks that they earned and they get to bring somebody else along with them. 
We'll see how this affects the busyness in some of these areas. I know there will be concerns in the comments about, oh, now it's going to be twice as busy as it was before. Valid comment. We are going to see whether this is a short or a long-lived freebie. Let's take the cruise news over to one of the busiest cruise ports on planet Earth, Port Canaveral, right here in Central Florida, where a big announcement has just been made pertaining to a new high-speed rail offering that will make travel to Port Canaveral much easier for anyone flying into Orlando. And similarly, you'll also be able to now fly into Miami, Fort Lauderdale, or if you live down there, you could just hop on the train and come out here to the Space Coast for your cruise quickly, efficiently, and perhaps most importantly, you'll be doing it in the utmost comfort and luxury. I love these Brightline trains. Of course, Brightline is the company that has just announced that they've come to an agreement least a tentative one, with the city of Coco in Coco Beach, of course, to build a new train station for the Brightline high-speed rail at what is known to locals as the Coco Curve. This is where the train turns from heading east or west to north or south and hit the curve. This is going to be a huge difference maker for Port Canaveral. There's a lot going on at this port already. So some interesting things going on down in Port Canaveral. If you've never taken the Brightline train, I very much recommend it. It is a fantastic service. And as if that wasn't enough cruise news for one day, what if I told you, you may soon have an opportunity to sail on the maiden voyage of the Titanic 2. That's right. Nearly a decade ago, Australian billionaire Clive Palmer pledged that he would construct an exact replica of the Titanic and offer cruises on it. Now that plan has gone sideways several times. Most recently, you can blame the 2020 shutdowns. However, Clive made a new announcement just yesterday where he showed blueprints of the proposed Titanic 2. This is all being done under the umbrella of his company, at least the company he represents, which is called the Blue Star Line. Yeah, they changed the color. It used to be White Star, now it's blue, but they're doing a pretty good job in keeping with the theme of the Titanic overall. Now, the March 13th announcement was to publicly share that additional business partners have now joined in on the venture. As of now, we don't know what shipyard will be building the nine deck vessel, but we do know it will be just slightly heavier than the original Titanic. The new vessel, Titanic 2, will weigh in at 56,000 gross tons, approximately 10,000 more than the real Titanic 1. She'll stretch an impressive 882 feet long, which is just one foot shy of the original vessel. But most importantly, she will carry the same amount of passengers, 2,435. And Palmer also notes, and he made this very clear, that unlike her predecessor, Titanic 2 will actually have sufficient lifeboats to carry all lives on board. As of now, there's no exact deadline for when Titanic 2, Electric Boogaloo, will make her maiden voyage. However, if you get subscribed here to the channel, and leave a like on this video, I promise, as soon as I find out, I will share the information right to your beautiful faces. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today, and until next time, we'll see ya on the midships.